Now, any UCLA fan watching this video, I need you to hear me and hear me well. You see that flag on the wall? I'm a USC fan. However, UCLA, I got to give y'all props. Y'all have been doing a great job this year, and you, you guys did a good job because you did exactly what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to have a very high ranking so that when you played USC at the end of the year, you would lose, and so that USC could keep on climbing up the AP ranks. I really do appreciate that. But no, all jokes aside, I actually am a diehard USC fan, and so... I, I, I believe that this is either the first video or second video I've ever covered on a UCLA commit. However, UCLA has been doing a good job. So if you guys want to see me cover more UCLA players and just all the recruits that you guys are bringing in and just do more UCLA content, I need y'all to leave this video a like and I need y'all to hit that subscribe button because I'm a USC fan. I'm not going to be doing this just, just for the fun of it. I need to see some support. So all my UCLA fans, if they're out there, Leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button. I will continue to make more UCLA content. But with that being said, you guys picked up actually one of my favorite recruits that was left in the class of 2023 and four-star receiver, Jeremiah McClure. So we're about to break that down because this guy, I don't like to say it, but he's gonna add a lot of dynamic playmaking to that wide receiver room for the Bruins. So let's get straight into it. Uh, leave this video a like, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, all that fun stuff. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. So this is Jeremiah McClure, the 6'2", 195-pound uh, wide receiver. This guy, I, I made a video a couple weeks ago going over just some of the, the best value recruits that you could pick up in the class of 2023 that were remaining. And Jeremiah McClure was, I believe, the second best receiver that was available. So this guy... T great top end speed the ability to he's a court like in the video i said he's a quarterback's best friend because as, as you'll see in this highlight tape he does a phenomenal job of consistently getting open for his quarterback his quarterback the, the offensive line for his team just kind of failed him every now and again and so he does a great job of just continuing to work across the field get open come back to the quarterback he just never gives up on the play overall this is this is one of those guys that He's just going to be a flat out just quarterback's best friend. And then every now and again, he can just go up and high point the ball when he, when he needs to. Yeah, this kid, Jeremiah McClure, all my Bruin fans should be excited about him. Also, comment down below. I know we're going to have a lot of UCLA fans. Just for the fun of it, because I know most of y'all are going to be wrong. But comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on this weekend's rivalry game, USC versus UCLA? I believe that USC is going to win 35 to 28. You guys can comment down below whatever y'all believe. But, I mean, if we can't stop Zach, Zach Charbonnet, it's going to be a long day. Also, um, I forget the number 14 for y'all. Um, I believe one of his, like his first or last name starts with E. I made a video on him coming out of high school. Casimir uh, Allen. Not, it's not E. Casimir uh, Allen. If he ends up having a game... Those are the two guys that we have to stop. Dorian Thompson Robinson, he's just been so inconsistent. He has great games and he has not great games. I'm not really banking on him having a great game in this in this game. We have to stop Zach Charbonnet and, and Casimir Allen. Those two guys can absolutely torch us all game long. That's a great play. Just a little stop and go. Make it look too easy. Hey, but you know, maybe maybe a guy like maybe a guy like Jeremiah McClure will be a, a it will help get you over the edge in this rivalry game. Maybe maybe next year or two or four, or maybe like seven years from now. But you know, overall, you guys are doing a great job. I actually I am actually really proud of UCLA. You guys have done a phenomenal job this year, just overall improving from last year, taking that next step. And once you guys, I mean, Dorian Thompson Robinson has been a great quarterback for y'all. I feel like once you get a little bit more consistent quarterback play. UCLA could seriously consistently be up in that top 15 range of in, in college football rankings. But now fit focusing more on my guy, Jeremiah, this guy, as you can see, just a great, he could work in the slot. He could work outside. Look at, look at this again, quarterback's best friend, finding a way to get open for his quarterback and coming down with the ball, a little two tap in the back of the end zone. Let's go. So that is the UCLA Bruins latest recruit pickup in the class of 2023 and four-star wide receiver Jeremiah McClure. Like I said in the video, this guy is a quarterback's best friend. He is a very versatile wide receiver at 6'2", 195. His ability to be able to play in the slot and outside is going to bring a lot of versatility to UCLA's offense. Overall, I think this is a phenomenal pickup for you guys. Like I said, he was one of my best value recruits that was still available in 2023. So being able to pick up a guy like that, that I already deemed to be a great pickup, Obviously, it shows that UCLA is doing a phenomenal job of being able to recruit the right recruits, especially late in the recruiting cycle. 
but I want to hear from y'all so be sure to comment down below what do you guys think of Jeremiah McClure be sure to leave this video a like also comment down below what do you guys think is going to happen in this weekend's UC the USC versus UCLA game hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I will be doing a game breakdown of that game as soon as it's over or probably next morning because it's going to be super late for me but with all that being said I love and appreciate all y'all and I will catch you guys in the next video ciao